Hello Stampin' Friends, Kelly Atchison at astampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I have a really quick little tip for you with some new ribbon we have in the Occasions mini catalog. You're going to find it on page 22 and 23 in the Petal Passion Suite and you'll see the organza ribbon right here. You get 10 yards of it for six dollars and I love this ribbon and one of the things that I really love about it is you can make it any color you want so when I was designing my card I'm like oh I wish I had rich razzleberry ribbon guess what I can make this into rich razzleberry ribbon let me show you how easy this is I've got some stamp and blends these are our alcohol markers these work really great um, for the ribbon and I also have a black stamp and write marker um, the Stampin' Blends don't come in black, and I did need a little piece of black marker. What I found about the black marker is that you had to color both sides of the ribbon because it didn't soak in like the Stampin' Blends do. So I've got the length of ribbon I need to make a little bow for my card, and I'm just going to take the brush end. You can use either end, really, and I'm just going to pull my ribbon through. and color both sides that has the satiny fabric. This was like an aha moment for me. And I really did discover it because I needed a piece of ribbon or I decided I wanted some ribbon for my card and we didn't have it in that color. Just a second, I missed a little bit there. The nice thing about doing it this way is um, I did get a little black on my fingers from the markers, but you don't. The um, Stampin' Blend alcohol markers dry right away, so you are free to use this on your card immediately. With the piece that I made with the black marker, I took a tissue and I just pulled my um, ribbon through there and you can see there's a little black here on my tissue and on my fingers. But the alcohol markers, they like dry instantly. Isn't that pretty? And now I have this color I'm using is the dark pink pirouette. And I would like to turn this into a bow to put on a card that I already have. There's our cute little bow jig. I've featured this many times on my videos. If you have any questions about it, just pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com and I'd be happy to uh, tell you how you can make your own. Okay, here's my cute little bow. I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of this. And then I have this adorable card. This I did not create this card. This adorable card was made by my downline. Kathy Beck and I just loved it and as I was thinking about what I could use my colored ribbon on today for this video I decided that this could use a little ribbon right there it didn't need it by any means but I needed a card to put some ribbon on and I didn't have time to make a card so I used this card and isn't that just adorable you've got a bow now that matches your color coordination on your card and I've got some other samples for you, too. These cards are swap cards that I received. This uses the 3 8 inch organza ribbon without coloring it. So it is beautiful all by itself. Here's another super cute card used for the apron strings on this one. And then if you watched my Saturday blog hop last week, you'll see this card. And I took the ribbon. I used my dapper denim marker to color the ribbon and ran it through the back of this one. This card made with brush oak crystal colors. Here's another swap card that I received and I took the black Stampin' Write marker and made some black ribbon to add that little accent so I had some samples to show you with the ribbon. Again a beautiful swap card. I did not create this. And I have one more swap card and um, this one I used Rich Razzleberry I used the Dark Rich Razzleberry Stampin' Blend marker and colored the ribbon here. So I hope this video has been helpful for, helpful for you. I really like sharing tips with you guys when I find something that's like an aha moment. It's a perfect addition to my Wait What Wednesday tip videos. 
If you would like to get your hands on some of this ribbon, and we have some other fabulous products too, you can go to the link above, right up here, the www.astampabove.com, and you can place an order through my Stampin' Up! store. I always appreciate your orders, and I also appreciate your comments. Thank you very much. Comments and questions can go right under the YouTube video, or you can email me at kelly at astampabove.com. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be happy to send you the new catalogs. Again, pop me an email and I can get those in the mail to you. It really is better to have a hard copy in your hand so you can see all the elements without squinting at your screen, right? We have some beautiful, beautiful products in our New Occasions mini catalog. And right now, between now and the end of March, when you order $50 out of any of our catalogs, you get to choose free items out of our celebration brochure. And there's some very cool stuff in there as well. So you can take advantage of that when you're stocking up on your stamping supplies. Um, you can also order our discount shopper kit. That entitles you to a 20% discount on your future orders. I have all the details on my blog. I'll put a link in the YouTube um, description. So when you go to the YouTube page underneath my video, it'll say see more or something like that. Click on that and I'll have a link in there that will tell you all about the discount shopper kit. It's $99, you get to choose $125 in product of your choice, and you get to add two free stamp sets of any price to that shopper kit. So it ends up being over a $226 value, but you don't pay shipping on it. So that's a $22.60 savings right there. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, I'm always happy to answer them. I wish you guys a wonderful week. Bye-bye.